Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to my Nasdaq YouTube channel. This is Johnny. If you want to get a free Windows 11 virtual machine to play in your home lab environment, you won't miss this video. Previously, I did make a video to show you how to get Windows 10 evaluation and price version. And Windows 11 and Plus ISO images, download them and install them into your virtual machine to play with it. Beyond that, in the video and my blog post, also showed you how to upgrade them from Evaluation Edition to Full Edition. So all steps have been well recorded in the video and this blog post. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get the free Windows 11 virtual machine released by Microsoft. They are not only running on latest Windows 11 release and patches, also pre-installed quite a few development softwares. You can easily import them into your virtualization environment, such as VMware, Hyper-V, VirtualBox, and Parallels. Now. Let's start it. You might be know Microsoft regularly release Windows development environment virtual machine for developer to use. They have different format of four different virtualization software: VMware, Hyper-V, VirtualBox, and Parallels. So the latest release is July version. But the expiration date is October 10, three months, 90 days. It's based on Windows 11 build 22621.1992. Most likely, Microsoft will release another new set of Windows 11 virtual machine on August, and the expiration date will be on November. So, if you want to get the latest one, you just need to go to this. URL and find our latest version and download it to play with it. The virtual machine will not be able to activate it because it's only used for evaluation, so it won't be able to activate it with production key. And it's only x86 version only, not ARM version. So you will find more frequently asked questions to explain. What it looks like and what kind of issue it might have, what kind of limitation it has, I will post link in the video description. But for this video, I'm gonna show you how to download it and how to import into the virtual machine to play. The most importantly, I will show you how to upgrade it from evaluation version. To full version, just like I did in my previous video. Now, let's start download it. The downloading is very simple process. Just need to go to this URL and then find out your virtualization software platform. I'm using VMware. If you're using Hyper-V, this is the link. If you are virtual box or parallels, then here are links. For me, just click VMware, then it should be automatically prompt you to downloading for this VMware software. It is downloading right now. It took probably 32 minutes to get it done. It's about 23.1 gigabytes, very large file. After you extract it. Then it will be around 42 gigabytes. Basically, you will need about 70 gigabytes on your hard drive space to hold all the files. You need to 23 gigabytes for your zip file, and then unzip it will take 42. So about 70 gig is good guess for you to have. So I'm gonna let it downloading. I will come back once it's completed. So downloading has been completed. You will see this file. 
It's about 23 gigabytes. It's a zip file. And what you can do to extract it, just right click on it, just select extract all. Then you can choose a folder, extract. So then it will take time to finish the extracting. I will wait until it's finished to continue my video recording. After one minute waiting, the file has been extracted. There's three files in the folder. One is this file, one is virtualization format package file. That's the file you will need to open to. So you can double click on it to use your VMware workstation or VMware player to open it. Or you can directly go to your VMware workstation each station choose open and directly open it. Once you open it, it will ask you to name it. So I'm going to name as Windows 11 develop evaluation version. So you're going to choose where to store your files. So I'm going to put on a C drive VNs folder. You may want to make a subfolder on the VMs, but for me, this is just for testing. I put the VMs here. Then you need to do import. So import will get the package into your VMware workstation, become a VM to use. Depending on your computer's performance, it may take two, three minutes to get it done. I will stop recording now and I will come back to continue the video after it's finished. Finally, VMware Workstation imported VMware Virtualization Package into our workstation. So the total file is about uh, 43 gigabytes that's the VM files we have so we can directly power it on this virtual machine so from now on I will just mute myself also I'm not gonna show my recording here I'm gonna play in video speed four times faster to make this video much shorter
Thank you.